Hey guys, how you doing? I'm David Mathis. Thank you for tuning in for uh, today's topic. If you guys are regular subscribers, I really appreciate you guys' support. If you're brand new, thank you guys for checking me out. Go check out some other content. And um, if you guys like it, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, with that being said, let's start in on today's topic, huh? Um, what is, in my opinion, the most difficult part of natural bodybuilding? Okay, now there's tons of avenues you can go down, right? You can go down the training avenue, you can go down the nutrition, the rest, um, all that. But what I really want to focus on is just overall balance, right? And when I started thinking about this topic, I started thinking about just life in general, and isn't that the issue with almost everything in life is finding balance, right? I think it's especially important for natural bodybuilders to understand that finding balance is crucial in order for you to make uh, significant gains because unlike enhanced bodybuilders, you are not going to have the drugs in order to um, maybe make up for a little bit more poor of a diet or lack of training, things like that. You have to be precise on everything, but what you have to do is you have to find that threshold, right? As a natural bodybuilder, one of the hardest things to do is understanding when enough is enough and when you haven't gone quite enough, right? When have you not put in enough stimulus in your training? When have you gone too much in putting in stimulus for your training? When have you not eaten enough? When have you eaten too much when you start accumulating more body fat than you do uh, muscle, right? Everything is a balance in the gym, in the kitchen, in life, in relationships, whatever it is, right? Natural bodybuilding is so important to find um, that balance and find those thresholds because if you start doing too much, and believe me, I'm one that I like to hit the gym hard. I like to spend a long time in the gym. Um, I'm sure many of you watching this are just like me, right? If you're a natural bodybuilder, um, you like working out, you like training. Um, but what I've had to learn over the years, guys, is that I was pushing myself above that threshold. I was not finding that balance. And because of that, I was not making progress like I thought I would. Now, a lot of my mentality in the past, and a lot of it has to do with um, the Army, being in the Army, and just my competitive, perfectionist nature in general always told me more, 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 right? More is better. Well, no, guys. My friend, my mentor, Wayne Norton, says it best. Better is better. And there is a minimum effective volume that you can put in, and there's a maximum recoverable volume that you could put in as far as your training. Um, you need to find what works for you, right? Find that balance in your life, not what works well for somebody else, because what works well for somebody else isn't necessarily going to be enough stimulus for you to grow, or it might be too much where it's gonna inhibit your growth and inhibit recovery time. So, this video really just comes down to, I guess, a basic life message in general that just applies to the gym, because I find that a lot of, a lot of the things that I learn, a lot of the life lessons I learn outside relate to the gym and vice versa, right? A lot of things you learn in the gym kind of help relate to your outside life. And that is just find balance, right? Find balance in your eating, find balance in your training, find balance in your recovery, your socializing time. Um, but as a natural bodybuilder in particular, you don't have those extra tools as far as performance enhancing drugs, right? In order to make up for some of that lack of balance. Um, if you're looking through magazines, right? Most everybody, if you're 30 years or older, you started bodybuilding, um, becoming interested in bodybuilding by reading the magazines back in the, the 90s, right? Early 2000s, before the internet, before YouTube, before all this stuff became popular, you got your information from the magazines. And what's wrong with that is that the information that's provided to you in the magazines is based off of enhanced athletes, not natural bodybuilders. So there are different rules in play when you are a natural bodybuilder. And those rules break down into one simple thing, and that's the point of this video. Find balance, right? Find your threshold. Find your maximum threshold. Find your minimum threshold. And fall in between that. Never stop pushing yourself but understand when you've pushed yourself enough to back off and allow yourself to grow. So thank you guys for tuning back in. Um, if you get anything out of this video, don't just find balance in the gym. Find balance in your life, right? That's a lesson that I've had to learn a lot over the last few years that I neglected for many, many years in my past. And um, it's not only enhanced my gym uh, performance, my nutrition, my physique, it's enhanced my life in general. So. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any more questions about training, nutrition, leave them in the comment section below. If you're looking for coaching, um, I will leave my information in the description box. You can contact me. I offer uh, training and nutrition programming for bodybuilders, powerlifters, everyday individuals just looking to lose fat, gain muscle, competitors, whatever it is. So um, I'd love to work with you, find an efficient way to um, help you reach your goals you know, your specific goals. Everybody has different goals. I don't do a cookie cutter approach. So um, with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked everything, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be catching you next time.